Hi guys, today we are going to be doing a video on how to find the median. Now, what exactly is the median? Over here, I have a table that shows the height of students. So the median will tell us that I'm looking for a value that's somewhere in the middle of these values. Now, to do that, we are going to be using a formula. This formula. Median equals L plus 1 over 2 N minus F over Fn multiplied with C. C, there you go. Okay? But uh, how do I apply this formula? Well, step number one. I will need to add on one more column to this table. And that would be the cumulative frequency. What exactly is the cumulative frequency? Well, it simply means I begin with the first frequency, 2, I plus 5 gives us 7, 7 plus 11 becomes 18, 18 plus 14 is 32, 32 plus 9, 41, 41 plus 3 gives us 44. Now, notice that the total frequency is 44. Okay? However, what do we mean by L, N, F, F, N, and C? Well, I won't use complicated terms to explain these letters. Let's try to make it as simple as possible. Alright? So, L is for lower boundary. Got it? N is for total frequency. F, well, capital F to be more exact, stands for total frequency above the box. What box? Look at that. Okay? Fn is the frequency inside or in the box. And I've got C. C is the class interval size. Okay. Yeah, I've got this five letters, but how do I use them? Well, first and foremost, I need to find the box location. Now, to do that, remember, median is half. Median is middle. What is middle? Well, 1 over 2, half. So, I multiply this with the total frequency, which we found to be 44. Okay? This gives us 22. Now, this 22 is not the answer for the median. This 22 here just gives us a rough idea of where the median should be located. It gives us the box location. So, how do I use this number 22 again? Well, going back to our cumulative frequency table, I need to choose, to select, to pick the very first number that is larger than 22. So, I can't choose 2, 7, 18, but I can choose 32. Remember the first number larger than 22. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw the box right here. And this box will help me find my five values. Remember L, N, F, FM, and C. So the L is the lower boundary. Now how do I find the lower boundary? To find the lower boundary, I simply take the first number in this row, the last number in the row before that, we add them up and we divide by 2. So, I have 164 plus 165 divided by 2. That gives us 164.5. That is a lower boundary. Oh yeah, please do notice that we have 164. We have 164.5. This gives us a pattern. It means that 164 to 164.5 is actually plus 0.5, right? 
So which means everything on the right we can plus 0 0.5. This is useful to find the upper boundary. Okay? Now, the n number, total frequency I know is 44. So 44. We have f. f is the total frequency above the box. Now remember it's frequency. So frequency, the total above this box, 2 plus 5 plus 11, that gives us 18. So f number is 18. Then we have fm. What is fm again? Frequency inside the box. So this is my box. The frequency inside the box is 14. So I write 14. And finally, C, which is the class interval size. Now, to find the class interval size, the C number, we need to use upper boundary minus lower boundary. Now, we do know the lower boundary is 164.5, but what about the upper boundary? Well, let's take a look at the box. Remember, 164.5 is the lower boundary. The upper boundary is 169 plus 0 0.5, which means it's 169.5 minus 164.5, so we have the C value to be equal to 5. So what we do now is we take these five values and we plug it in into our formula, right? So let's try it. L, lower boundary, 164.5 plus 1 over 2. N, use a bracket, 44 minus F number, 18 over FM number, 14. Don't forget the bracket. C number is 5. Now, in case if you guys have problem calculating, the sequence of the calculation is this. Number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4, and finally number 5. Well, what this means is first, I take half times 44, find that answer, minus 18, after which we divide 14, and then multiply with 5, and lastly, I plus 164.5. So, have you got your answer? Well, if you have counted in the correct sequence, in the correct order, you should get 165.93. Oh, don't forget, the height of the students given here is in centimeters, so which means I need to write centimeters. So, again, to reflect back on what you've done, first, to find the median, I need to find the cumulative frequency. After which, I take half, again half, because median is half, in the middle, multiply with the total frequency to give us this number, 32, to tell us the location of the box. I need to select the very first number here, which is larger than 22, which means I select 32. My box is located right here. Now, what is the box for? The box is to help us find L and F, F and C, after which we apply the formula. Okay guys, alright, that's all we have for today. We will see you again next time. Ta-ta, bye-bye.